I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. We'll look into a question which is shared by one of our students. It is based on finding moment at a point due to set of forces in rigid bodies. The question here is, the diagram shows a set of forces acting on a lamina. Calculate the moment about point P caused by these forces. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, when we say that forces are acting on a lamina, Lamina basically is a two-dimensional rigid body. We assume the thickness to be negligible, like paper. The forces are shown in the diagram. One force of 6 Newton is acting at point P, whose shortest distance is 2 meters. The other force is of 10 Newtons, which is acting along the line shown here in blue, that distance is 3 meters, but it makes an angle of 40 degrees with the force. You need to find the moment due to both forces at point P. Now, moment is basically force into distance, right? So, let's write down what moment is. So, moment at P will be due to these two forces. So it is due to force 6 Newton and also due to 10 Newton, right? So moment basically is defined as a cross product of force with the distance. Now in our case, there are two forces. One of them is causing a clockwise rotation and another one is causing counterclockwise rotation. So, we have to combine these two forces. We can treat clockwise as positive and then work it out. The force of 6 Newton acting at P causes clockwise rotation. So, we'll say clockwise is positive for us. Well, you can consider counterclockwise as positive also, but the other one will be of opposite sign. The other force of 10 Newton acting at P, counterclockwise rotation will be caused because of this force. So, we'll consider clockwise as positive and counterclockwise as negative. So, the moment due to the first force, which is 6 Newton, let's call this as moment 1, is basically 6 Newtons times the distance between them, which is 2 meters, and that gives us 12 Newton meter. However, to find the moment due to the other force, we'll have to resolve this into the component, which is perpendicular to the line of action or we can resolve the distance. So, this distance of 3 meters, we can make a triangle here. The shortest distance will be P to M. So, what is P M? Look at this particular triangle. Let's call this as O for now. So, P O M angle is 40. Opposite side is Pm. So, it is sine of 40 degrees. So, we know this distance Pm is basically equal to 3 times sine of 40 degrees. So, that becomes the distance between them. So, therefore, the second moment 
caused by the other force, which is of 10 newtons, will be 10 newtons times the distance, which is 3 sine 40 degrees. Perfect. So you can multiply this, get your answer, which is how much? 10 times 3 sine of 40 degrees is equal to 19.28. Let's approximate this to 19.3, one decimal place. Now we see that the first moment was clockwise and this one is counterclockwise. Now if I consider clockwise as positive, then counterclockwise will be negative and therefore we can write the net moment is how much? Some of these two, right? Will be 12 Newton meter minus 19.3 Newton meter and that is equal to, let's take away 12 from here, 19.3, 7.3 but negative sign. So negative basically indicates that the moment is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. So we can say that the answer is 7.3 Newton meter counterclockwise. It is important to write down the rotation. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Here is the complete solution in short as we did. So 6 Newton the distance given is the shortest distance. So we just directly multiplied 6 Newton by 2 meters, getting the positive clockwise moment at P and the other one caused the counterclockwise. But then we had to resolve this distance into two parts, the opposite side being 3 sine of 40 degrees will be multiplied by 10 newtons to give the counterclockwise moment at p. So the first one is 12 newton meter as we calculated. The second one is 19.28. Keeping clockwise as positive, adding them together, we get minus 7.3 newton meter and therefore the net moment at p due to these forces is 7.3 newton meter anti-clockwise. I hope the solution is clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.